Carl Valentin was a Bavarian comedian, cabaret performer, clown, author and film producer. He had significant influence on German Weimar culture. Valentin starred in many silent films in the 1920s, and was sometimes called the Charlie Chaplin of Germany. Early work Carl Valentin came from a reasonably well-off middle-class family. His father had a partnership in a furniture transport business. Valentin first worked as a carpenter's apprentice, and this experience proved useful in the construction of his sets and props later in life. In 1902, he began his comic career, enrolling for three months at a variety school in Munich, under the guidance of Hermann Strebel. His first job as a performer was at the Zephors in Nuremberg. In the wake of his father's death, Valentin took a three-year break from performing during which he constructed his own 20-piece one-man band. Valentin also took musical studies, learning the guitar with Heinrich Albert. Soon Valentin was performing regularly in the cabarets and beer halls of München. He developed a reputation for writing and performing short comic routines, which he performed in a strong Bavarian dialect, usually with his female partner, Liesel Karlstadt. Valentin also made numerous films, both silent and with audio, but it was as a stage performer in cabarets that Valentin built a reputation as one of the leading comic performers in Germany during the Weimar Republic, with Bertolt Brecht. In 1923, Valentin appeared in a half-hour, slapstick film entitled Mysteries of a Barbershop. The film script was written by Bertolt Brecht, directed by Eric Engel, and also featured Valentin's cabaret partner, Liesel Karlstadt, as well as an ensemble of stage, film, and cabaret performers, including Max Schreck, Erwin Faber, Joseph Eichheim, and Blandine Ebbinger. Although the film was not immediately released after it was completed in February 1923, it has come to be recognized as one of the 100 most important films in the history of German filmmaking. The previous year, 1922, Bertolt Brecht had appeared with Valentin and Karlstadt in a photo of Valentin's spoof of Munich's Oktoberfest. Brecht regularly watched Valentin perform in his cabaret routines in Munich's beer halls, and compared him to Chaplin not least for his virtually complete rejection of mimicry and cheap psychology, Brecht wrote. But the man he, Brecht writes of himself in the third person, learnt most from was the clown Valentin, who performed in a beer hall. He did short sketches in which he played refractory employees, orchestral musicians or photographers, who hated their employer and made him look ridiculous. The employer was played by his partner, a popular woman comedian who used to pad herself out and speak in a deep bass voice. When the Augsburger, Brecht, was producing his first play, which included a 30 minutes battle, he asked Valentin what he ought to do with the soldiers. What are the soldiers like in battle? Valentin promptly answered. They're pale, scared shitless. This anecdote has become significant in the history of German theatre, since it was Valentin's idea of applying chalk to the faces of Brecht's actors in his production of Edward II that Brecht located the germ of his conception of epic theatre. Performance style. Valentine's naive sense of humor produced sketches that in spirit were loosely connected to Dadaism, social expressionism and the new Isaac Kate. Along with Karl Kraus, he is considered a master of gallows humor. His art centered mostly around linguistic dexterity and wordplay. Valentine was a linguistic anarchist. His comedy would often begin with a simple misunderstanding, on which he would insist as the sketch progressed. The notable critic Alfred Kerr praised him as a Wurzer Kalalbara, or someone who tears apart words and language to forcefully extract and dissect its inherent meaning. His sketches often parodied and derided shopkeepers, firemen, military band players, professionals with small roles in the economy and the defense of society. Many contemporary artists, including filmmaker Herbert Actenbush and Christoph Schlingensief, trace their artistic roots back to Carl Valentin. Museum and Tributes 
In 1959 based on private initiative the Valentin Museum was established in the Isator in Munich. This museum shows absurdities from parts of his legacy. A statue of Valentin was placed in the Victualian Markt in Munich. People still come and place flowers on this statue. Available works. Films on DVD Karl Valentin and Liesel Karlstadt. Die Kurs Film, Munich 2002, Publisher Film 101, Karl Valentin and Liesel Karlstadt. Die Spiel Film, Munich 2004, Publisher Film 101, Karl Valentin and Liesel Karlstadt. Die Beliebt Testen Kurs Film, Munich 2006, Publisher Film 101, Karl Valentin and Liesel Karlstadt. Die Kurs Film, New Edition Munich 2008, Publisher Film 101, Complete Works, Complete Works in 8 Volumes, Edited by Helmut Barkmeyer and Manfred Faust, Munich, Piper, Volume 1, Monologer und Solos is Ennen, 309p, ISBN 3-492-03401-2, Volume 2, Couplets, 424p, ISBN 3-492-03402-0, Volume 3, Susanen, 388p, 1995, ISBN 3-492-03403-9, Volume 4, Dialoga, 485p, 1995, ISBN 3-492-03404-7, Volume 5, Stuck, 557p, 1997, ISBN 3-492-03408-X, Volume 6, Briefer, 379p, 1991, ISBN 3-492-03406-3, Volume 7, Autobiographers und Vermischtes, 40p, 1996, ISBN 3-492-03407-1, Volume 8, Film und Filmprojektor, 618p, 1995, ISBN 3-492-03405-5, Documenta, Nachtrage, Register, 277p, 1997, ISBN 3-492-03977-4. Works cited. Benjamin, Walter. 1983. Understanding Brecht. Trans. Anna Bostock. London and New York. Verso. ISBN 0-902308-99-8. Brecht, Bertolt. 1965. The Messingkauf Dialogues. Trans. John Willett. Bertolt Brecht, Plays, Poetry, Prose Sir, London, Methuen, 1985, ISBN 0-413-388905, Calandra, Dennis, 2003, Carl Valentin and Bertolt Brecht, In Popular Theatre, A Source Book, ed. Joel Schechter, Worlds of Performance Sir, London and New York, Rutledge, p. 189-201, ISBN 0-415-258308-8, Horwitz, Kurt, Karl Valentin in Einer anderen Zeit, Sturz Fluger im Zuschauer Raum, pp. 16-17, McDowell, Stewart. 1977, a Brecht Valentine production, Mysteries of a Barbershop, in Performing Arts Journal, Volume 1, No. 3, pp. 2-14, McDowell, Stewart, 2000, Acting Brecht, The Munich Years, in the Brecht Sourcebook, Carol Martin, Henry B. L., Edited p. 71-83, Schechter, Joel, 1994, Brecht's Clowns, Man is Man and After, in Thompson and Sachs, Thompson, Peter and Glendier Sachs, eds. 1994, The Cambridge Companion to Brecht, Cambridge Companions to Literature Sir, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press, ISBN 0-521-41446-6.
Willett, John. 1967. The Theater of Bertolt Brecht. A Study from Eight Aspects. 3rd Rev. Ed. London. Methuen, 1977. ISBN 0-413-34360-X. Willett, John and Ralph Mannheim. 1970. Introduction. In Collected Plays. 1 by Bertolt Brecht. Ed. John Willett and Ralph Mannheim. Bertolt Brecht. Plays, Poetry and Prose Sir. London. Methuen. ISBN 0-416-03280-X. P.7-X for a